Hello everyone, welcome to tech2.com. In this question, let this symbol, this symbol, this symbol represents the collection which contains all the possible subset of collection A. When I'm saying collection A, it is basically set A, right? So let's assume a set A equal to having, let's say, uh, let's assume only two elements. So it's one and two right now if this represents collection of all the possible subsets so what are the possible subsets of this a so the possible subset can be phi phi is subset of course always and then we will have a subset where there is only one element that is one we can have a subset which is two and of course this a set a is subset of itself right so we will have one and two right so what th these all i mean collection of this that is whole is basically what nothing but power set right power set of a so this question basically tests the knowledge of uh, this power set as well as uh, whether you actually understand the definition okay so here this has been just replaced power set has been replaced by this definition now let's come to the question it is asking which one of the following is always true right always true not for a given instance so the first one is power set of power set of a equal to power set of a so let's understand this one is power set of a right now let's find out what is power set of power set of a so then again it will be collection of all the possible subset of these elements right and what is the element of this set if we consider p a as a set then what is the element it is a set again right so here what will be p of p f a phi then one but double bracket what does it mean it means that it is a subset whose element is again a subset right here it is a subset but element is this is a single element right this is number not again subset here this is a subset but element is again a set right so similarly we will have two then we will have one two okay then we will have one two this one right and so on fine now we can clearly see that these two things are not same right these and these two things are not same and there is nothing common in between two except this phi right so if we find out the intersection of p of a and p of p of a okay p of p of a it will be equal to phi fine so b option is correct